Howdy y'all, this is your boy OBB, the Diecast News Guy, bringing you guys with yet another custom NASCAR Diecast review supplied by my good buddy Andrew, also known as Little Wrangler 3, so, you know, check him out in the description down below, as, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, he, like I said in the other custom Diecast reviews, he's definitely gonna be the, he's definitely gonna be the star of this week, let's just say that, cause, uh, heck, this is definitely a, a, a custom diecast that I've been waiting for a while. Um, like when they first announced this, I was like, oh boy, this is going to be like the best selling diecast of all time. And guess what? It was. It was the number one best selling diecast of all time. And you can only get it in the 124 scale for the ARC and the Elite. Was not offered in the 164 scale. So that's why they are, that, that's why there are a lot of custom makers out there that are making this car. You probably know what it is. It is on Kevin Harvick's 2021 Grave Digger. Yes, the Grave Digger for Monster Jam. Ford Mustang for Stuart Haas Racing. Holy crap. You want to talk about a big surprise from 2021? Uh, how about a big surprise for 2022? Man, I can't believe I finally got this die cast in a custom for free. Thanks to my good buddy, Little Wrangler 3. I cannot just think of him enough. This was just something I was not expecting. Because usually when I get like free stuff from him, I'm like, all right, True Rex and Blaney stuff or maybe some Edwards. But not a freaking Kevin Harvick Gravedicker car, man. Holy shit. This thing is so cool. Well, there goes the PG rating, but I don't care. I mean, look at this thing. This thing is so freaking cool. Cool, man. I'm going to go ahead and shut up and let's take a closer look at the diecast unboxing and review of this Custom Master diecast of Kevin Harvick's 2021 Gravedigger car. And alrighty guys, we got this diecast out of the box and man, does this thing look so cool. I mean, you guys know me, I love paint schemes that stand out and they just really just... I just love paint schemes that have bright colors and great details. Let me tell you what, man. This thing absolutely just outsells it in any way, shape, or form. There's a reason why this was the best-selling diecast of all time. And, heck, for just for certain, man, the iconic Grave Digger. Grave Digger, the most well-known uh, character in the Monster Jam in the Monster Jam series, and yeah, I have been to Monster Jam before, guys. I did in Syracuse, and I think uh, they did. They just recently came at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, but I think they're also coming to Orlando, which I where I live. Um, but yeah, I mean. I would probably would love to attend another Monster Jam race because, you know, I do actually have a Gravedigger shirt now thanks to, uh, you know, uh, for Stuart House Racing Hauler for supplying the Gravedigger shirts at New Hampshire, which they also did have them in Daytona, and they also had the Gravedigger 124 as well. So there's still a lot of great, there's still a lot of Gravedigger die cast and uh, apparel you can get at uh, the Haulers, which is pretty cool. But let me tell you what, man, this is such a cool custom. Now, I mean, by any means, I know it is not a perfect custom, but let me tell you what, man, it is by far exceeding my expectations because let me tell you what if i did a custom let me tell you what it'd be a lot more worse than this this i'm just glad i have all right i'm sure this custom was probably very hard to make uh considering you know just how bright these decals are i'm sure you know it costed a lot just to print these sons of bitches out <laughs> but let me tell you what man um I, I can't criticize on custom diecast because let me tell you what, I mean, it takes talent to make these things, and this is just really cool. You got the two Monster Jam logos right there. I kind of like they did that. kind of reminds me of, like, what uh, the old JGR cars used to do, uh, you know, back in the day when Joe Gibbs first started. Um, but you got Grave Digger, Ford Mustang. But, yeah, this is a such an iconic paint scheme that uh, I can't believe that, you know, they were able to pull this off, man. I, I couldn't believe it. You want to talk about the... How about Kevin Harvick, man? I mean, I know Harvick wasn't the most well-liked driver last year for obvious reasons, but let me tell you what, man, um, even though it was a horrible year for him, let me tell you what, he probably had the best Father's Day gift of all time because his son, his 8-year-old son, um, which, by the way, we do have now the 164 truck, iRacing truck that just came out. How about that? You guys want to feel old now? Keelan, die, uh, Keelan Harvick now has his own die cast. Yeah, you're getting old, guys. <laughs> That or kids are just growing up so freaking quickly now. But, um, yeah, well, I was trying to say before I just said that. Yeah, Keelan Harvick was probably the best son a father could have um, on Father's Day for last year because he surprised his dad with with this announcement on Father's Day that the Gravedigger was going to sponsor him for the for the inaugural uh, Ally 400 at the Nashville uh, Speedway, and let me, at Nashville Super Speedway. And let me tell you what, man, it delivered on the announcement. And it delivered on track, man. He had a very good shot at winning this race. Um, was mostly in the top 10 throughout the whole race. And I think he came home finishing fifth. But, man, th this diecast is just so cool. And I just, I think the, the best thing about this car, guys, is just the amount of details right there. You can see the Monster Jam logo and the haunted house in the background. And the haunted house in the background. And you see it. Uh, it's called Grave Digger for a reason. Because I believe these are the names of all of its opponents that it has uh, defeated. So, um, there's a reason why Grave Digger is the fan favorite. Because he, I guess he mostly kills the competition. But heck, I mean, the Gra Grave Digger goes all the way back, I think, to like the pioneer days of Monster Jam. I mean, it's just such a well-known uh, 
uh, uh, character, man. Just my lord. This thing is just so cool. I just love how the colors just work so well. You got the purple and the green. And I can't even mention the green outline, guys. Look at that. Even uh, Andrew was able to uh, outline the green um, the, the green part of the rims. That's pretty cool. I mean, I don't know if the actual car was like that but or on the show car, but that is awesome. And you got the purple right there. Uh, this purple is nice. It's kind of like a fiery purple, you know what I mean? But look at that, guys. And we've got the green flame. Oh, I love that green flame uh, with the yellow number. I mean, it's just so weird seeing this color combination on a Harvick car, but it... On the back, we got nothing on the back. I mean, I don't know if there was anything that was supposed to be there, uh, as far as I know. But, heck, you know, Monster Jam Grave Digger. And we got Bush. My lord. And we got a window banner that's sticking out. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> now, on this side right here, I can definitely see uh, maybe the decaling process was a little difficult to do. Because it does... Uh, um, I don't know. I mean, the decaling... The, the, the de I'm sure uh, applying the decals on this were pretty, were pretty hard to do. I mean, it looks like it was a hard job. I mean, but, heck... Got to give you know a good uh, good E for efforts on this because this is uh this is pretty cool man I'm able to do a diecast review on this so just um, heck this is pretty damn nice I mean for especially I I can't complain in any way shape or form man this is just look at that guys they got the grave digger skull and you got all the Stuart Haas logos the bush lights heck bet you feel like a badass uh, when you make a grave digger diecast and line out couldn't on the 164 scale now a lot of people probably wonder okay why couldn't they make the 164 scale of this car well it has something to do with licensing and uh spin master and mattel yes the East spin master um what was it uh, i'm trying to think who owns spin master is either mattel or hasbro one of those guys um i think it's hasbro probably because mattel is hot wheels yeah i know my i know uh i know my production uh i, I know i know company productions now yay <laughs> um but basically what happens, I guess, uh, they couldn't get the licensing to make it on the 164 scale. Because you guys know 164 scale die casts usually are made in the toys aisle. Um, at your Walmarts and Targets and Myers and Kroger's and all that stuff. Basically, you know, anytime you have a toy car aisle, um, there'll be, you know, 164 scale die casts. And I guess they just didn't, uh, since Monster Jam has their own uh, line of uh, toy cars in the toy aisle. I guess they just uh, couldn't get the shared licensing for it or that or I can only imagine what the licensing was because, you know, I, I'm i thinking that's probably what happened because other than that, I'm like, why would they have the 124 scale but not the 164 scale? But that's probably the main reason why because, um, you know, they have their own line of Monster Jam stuff at, you know, Walmarts and Targets and they probably just couldn't get the licensing for it. So, but heck. Glad we have custom makers out there because they did a fantastic job. And heck, I know a lot of people in the diecast community on Instagram that have already uh, got a lot of custom uh, makers to make this car. I'm sure this was the most popular custom to make out of all the custom makers. And shout out to all the custom makers out there um, for not getting enough recognition. I mean, I know Andrew does get the recognition, um, but heck, anybody else out there, I mean, feel free to let me know. And um, heck, I'll uh, give you guys a shout out because um, heck. These custom diecasts, man, absolutely rock, and it's just great when you have opportunities like this. To that, this is what really the whole point of these custom diecast reviews is, is just to you know show you guys a great product made by you know a great person. And Lil Wrangler was one of them. And heck, I, I'm just very thankful to just have this car in my collection because heck, if it wasn't for custom makers out there, I don't know what the hell we would do. <laughs> I guess we would just have to imagine with our imagination. But heck, feel free to post your comments and thoughts below. As I must say, man, this is probably. <laughs> I let, let's just say if you guys can get a good deal on a custom of this car heck that did you go out and get it go out and get it because it's so freaking worth it man and if you love the grave dicker car get the 124 scale and get the shirt like i did <laughs> i'm not a hard fan of issue form but that shirt is pretty damn cool but anyways guys let's go wrap up the diecast review of kyle of uh, not kyle larson's holy crap brian uh there's another k brian uh this is kevin harvick's 2020 this wrap up the diecast review of kevin harvick's 2021 grave digger car i probably am going to get some shout out now after this review because i just did a major screw up oh your boy obb is losing it now um but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this uh chaotic custom review as yeah i'm gonna go ahead and sign off for now i'll uh, see you guys next time on another diecast review